What's going on guys? Welcome back to WDYDCSP with you do as a central stir processor. Oftentimes, many technicians ask me, Justin, how can I get my speed up? I want to move faster. I want to be more productive. Well, I often, I always discourage technicians from using the word speed. You know, we're in an industry of wordplay. So I tell people, you want to become more proficient. You still want to have the quality of your work, but you want to be proficient in your production. Well, one of the ways you become proficient in your production is, I'm not going to say choose your sets wisely, but be smart with how you do your sets. If you're always grabbing huge sets that are complicated and that you know are troublesome, your production is always going to reflect that you're not doing a lot. You may understand that it's complex, but the person reading that production may not. Like from facility to facility, we often look at people's production and be like, what, you do what, 35 trays a day? I mean, how many instruments are in that? You know, or how complex is that set? One of the ways to become proficient in your production is doing something like this. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five sets, okay? Two of these sets have over 80 instruments in it, maybe about 78, okay? But they're the same sets back to back. So as you're doing one set, okay, your memory is, you know, unconsciously remembering what's in that set. So that when you go to the next set, you're almost exactly familiar as to what was in that first set, right? It, you almost memorize that set instantly, okay? Because you can go into the set and be like, wait a minute, that last set had this hemostat in it or had this four set in it, but I don't have it in this set. Or I know that has 10, so I'm looking for 10 here. So this set might have took you, let's say 15 minutes to do. This set right here may take you 12 or 11 minutes to do. Okay, I'm just throwing numbers out, okay? So that's two sets already done in an hour. You then want to go on to a small set that you can knock out fairly easy. There's nothing in this set, really. Three instruments here that you can use. This shouldn't take you no more than five minutes to do. You then want to go into another set that requires a little bit more maintenance, you know. Do a little bit of um, oiling and checking out. Okay, you know that this don't go in there, all right? I don't know how that made that way in there. But, you know. That set right there shouldn't take you no more than five, maybe 10 minutes at best, okay? And then you grab another set, okay? That's fairly small, okay? And then you put that together, okay? You do your testing, you check the instruments out, and then that's it. You've just done five sets in less than an hour. And then you can go ahead and return back to maybe a larger set. That's gonna take you half an hour or so. If you continue that pace, five sets of this caliber, or even bigger, let's say four sets, an hour, and you work seven hours out of the day, let's say 6.5, okay? Because you gotta get trays and things of that nature. Do the math, six times four is 24 sets. Six times five, if you keep it in this room, that's 30 sets. That's how you, with efficiency, without having to rush or be stressed. Now that changes depending on facility to facility, depending on the size of your trays, depending on the complexity of your trays. Again, if they're all basic instruments, so it doesn't become too difficult. Even GYM majors, minors, those are all basic instruments that you should be able to go through fairly quickly. So those sets, again, if you see a GYM major, look for another one, or even a minor. It's not too big of a difference in the sets. The only thing is the tray size and maybe the inclusion of larger retractors. You can almost memorize what's in those sets and be able to knock them out. All right, guys. Keep it 100. Continue educating yourself until next time. Peace.